Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today I wanna to share the second order I placed during Trollbeats Canada summer sale. And spoiler, I did buy another kit. So I thought for this video, I will share some of the beads incorporated into designs. And we'll start with this purple bracelet here. This bracelet design has two of my new beads. Um, the first one is this Moth of Myth that I recently shared as part of the Nature's Myth kit. And then the other bead that I purchased, and I'm so happy to finally add this one into my collection, is this beautiful one here. And this is one of the beads that first drew me to troll beads, and it's called the Sea Anemone, and it is so gorgeous. It has that kind of that orangey base to it, and that blue haze, and it is absolutely a stunning bead. It looks so nice with the amethyst that I have here, and with this blue topaz. This is actually a Pandora charm that I put onto this bracelet because I just think it suits this bracelet design better than one that I had it on with Pandora. So again, the Sea Anemone, and I'm so happy to finally have this one as part of my collection. Um, another um, Aurora beads I have are these two right here. And I can't remember the name of this one off the top of my head, but I'd like to get a second one of this one or maybe another one of this. I haven't decided yet. The next two silvers I have on my Melakite Fantasy necklace and it's called Seashore. So I have it at the base of this ocean life and at the top. And I just find that it frames a bead so beautifully and it was such a great price. It's recently retired. And uh, yeah, I just got a pair of them because I thought I would regret just getting the one. But you can see how it just kind of frames a bead. So rather than seeing that at the top, you see that. And to me, that's so much prettier. This next bracelet design is my summer bracelet that I've been slowly working on. And I did pick up a new bead from the Dolphin's Delight collection that was released this summer. And I purchased the Power Dolphin bead. And as you can see, you've got the water effect, you've got the sand, and then you've got these beautiful dolphins. And there are two dolphins on here. And take a look at the water. Like Trollbeads glass is just phenomenal. Look at the waves in the water, just that extra details. Such a beautiful bead. And I thought the blue and the sand in this bead match this other one over here. This one's called Crushing Waves, and it's got a little bit of um, a wavy glass to it, a little bit of sand, a little bit of like blue for the water. I'm gonna be honest, it's still not my favorite bead that I received from this Dolphin's Delight collection, but I like it enough not to return it. So I thought it would kind of tie in the blue and the sand together. Of course, I've got my Savvy Salmon in the center, and another new bead I picked up for this bracelet is this bead right here called Whale Spirit. So you have a little baby whale, and then I like to think of it as the mother whale. And look, look how their little fins are joined together and their little heads. And then the baby whale, you've just got that little extra tail detail, it's not smooth. And then you've got the other side is the more mature whale. And it's even got like a little scar there, it's some lines of the body. And I just really, really appreciated this charm from the moment I saw it. I think I saw it on Debbie with Scuba Dude. I just thought it was such a beautiful charm. I really like the way it hangs on a bracelet. And yeah, so this one fit in really well onto this summer design. These next beads are my flowers, and so I recently shared the Resilience flower that I received in the Nature's Myth kit, and look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness, the, the petals, the variation of color in the petals is just stunning. So after I received this one, I decided that I would like to get more into this series. This one here is called Flowers of Passion. And it's got the orange and the green, and I think the flower is really pretty. Like, they're all different. As you can see, the petals on this one's a little bit thinner. And I think the bead I received is a little bit different than the image that they share on Trollbeads' website. And I'm not upset with it at all, because I think the green and the orange, like, these are my happy colors. I do gravitate to the autumn colors and the warm tones. And look at that shade of green. It's stunning. So I picked up the Flowers of Passion, and then I also wanted to get the Flowers of Poise. 
And this one here has the black base and the color is in the petals of the flower. So I thought the three of these together would be really nice for an autumn or a winter design. And I think they're gonna combine well with a few gemstones. So in my Troll Beads collection, I already had these spacers, the copper and the silver. And so in the sale, I decided to buy some bangles. So I got the twisted silver bangle and the twisted copper bangle, and I am absolutely thrilled to make little mini designs with these. Pandora's bangles, open bangles, don't fit me quite properly. I'm in between sizes, like I can wear the size small, but if I put too many charms or Murano's, it's just not quite that comfortable. It hits this bone right here. I've kind of got like protruding bone on my wrist. So I was curious what it would be like um, buying the Troll Beads bangles and how the fit was on those. And Klaus is so fantastic with uh, returns if it doesn't suit you. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for it. I bought the extra small and let me put it on and I'll share with you how it looks. And I honestly think that these bangles do fit me better than the, what the Pandora does. I don't know if it's because they don't have like the balls at the end, so it's a little bit more comfortable, but this is the extra small. It has a little bit of room. I can still add more beads on here, but yet I don't find it too large. Like it's not rolling totally up my arm, but yeah, it is super comfortable. And then with the silver, I can kind of do a stacking thing. I can do beads on both, but probably not. I'll probably stack with one and design with the other. The next bead I got is called Water Lily. And this one's retired this year. And I was watching it. It was on my wish list. And I just saw the numbers remaining kind of dwindling down. So I decided to get it in this sale. This one I saw multiple times on Two Hata. She does some troll bead videos. And it's always struck me as a gorgeous bead. So this is the side profile. And you can see it just has little lilies, some raised dots there. And I'll put it on the twisted silver bangle so you can see what it looks like. So as you can tell, it is quite the hefty silver charm and it's got some weight to it. But the design goes all the way around. And I think it is gorgeous. I love the oxidized silver combined with the shiny silver. Um, this one here that I received was a little bit tarnished, so I did polish it up as much as I wanted to polish it up, but I probably can even remove a little bit more of the oxidization. These two beads are part of the Evergreen Divine Collection that was released last winter. And the first one is the gold stone, the green gold stone. And then the second is snow blossoms. And these are again my happy colors, right? So they've got the green with that kind of a burgundy red, but yeah, it's definitely got a little glitter in the flowers there. So I knew that I wanted to add from the Evergreen Divine Collection and Klaus had this one on for 40% off and it's called Ornate of Green. And when I received it, this one actually kind of took my breath away a little bit. So you've got those little green strands on top of some golden glass. And then do you see the ribbon of glitter that runs through it? It is such a beautiful bead. And these three together, like they're not matchy matchy, but they just fit together so well. So I'm taking a look at more of the beads in the Evergreen Divine collection and seeing what else I would like to add from there. But this one I think is still on sale on their site and it is definitely worth a look. And now we come to the kit that I purchased and this kit, I did some research. I was looking at pictures, I was looking at videos and I was a little bit on the fence because the Nature's Myth kit was probably my first love. And then I just kept coming back to this one. And so this was my second love and I have no regrets. It's called the Love Song Kit. It also still is available on sale, but not for 50% off anymore. So when you get a kit, um, you pay for five beads, you get the sixth for free. So when the kit is on sale for 50% off, you're getting all of the individual beads for an even better discount than 50%. So let me share with you these beautiful beads individually. Um, Klaus still has some of these for sale on their own as well if you didn't want to get the kit. This first one is called Isle of Luck and it's got some nice flowers with white flowers with some bronze glitter. 
and then you have that ribbon of yellow and green and the glass has kind of got like a bit of a green hue to it as well. So again, my happy colors. Also on this bracelet, I put the silver armadillo. I think he is so cute. I love how it's a round silver and he just kind of wraps around and he's like hugging his little belly. He's just adorable. Next up is the gemstone, the serpentine bead, and then I've got another one from the kit. I always think of these as paisley. To me, it kind of has a bit of a paisley look to it. It's called the Voice of Romance, and so it's a little bit of an orangey, warm yellow. Actually, probably just, yeah, like a golden amber yellow. And then it has some purple with a little bit of green in the center. I think of it as paisley, but I don't think it's supposed to be. Um, then I've got the Curious Cat, I believe this one is called. And then we come to another two beads from the kit. So you've got the Song of Hope, and this little bird is black and white, and it's on a green base, and then you've got some, like an orange with yellow branch. And then if I spin it around, there's two birds. Do you see that? Isn't that beautiful? Actually, sorry, there's more than two birds. I believe there's a total of four birds on this bead. And it's so pretty. Love the colors on that one. And then we have the Isle of Passion. And again, it's white flowers with a little bit of bronze. And then this one here has got a ribbon of orange and purple. And yeah, the base of it, it's a little bit different than the other one. Um, it's a little bit more of the kind of a cooler tone to it. This one I think is a little bit warmer tone. Very pretty together. This is my round gemstone, sunstone, and I've got it in the Framed by Ivy. And I have a question for you guys. With your Framed by Ivy beads, can you fit normal um, beads like glass beads or do you have to go with the smaller gemstones? Because I have seen so many photos of people using like a normal glass bead or even a gemstone and I can't get mine to fit because that little silver leaf just kind of bangs against it. So I don't know if they're manipulating the silver and kind of stretching it out a little bit, but let me know in the comments below if it's mine that doesn't fit or yeah, just let me know in the comments below what, uh, what you find with this bead. And then the next one on here is one that I think a lot of people have. It's called the Song of Love. And it's kind of like that mauvey pink purple. Look at the base on this bead. You can see how it's got all that texture at the base and then the birds are on top. It just kind of gives a little bit of movement to the bead. It's so pretty. I have it next to the Voice of Happiness. And this one's got the green base and it's kind of like a bluish tone to it of those paisley type petals on top. It just has a little bit of a like a movement to it as well. Then I've got a little petite silver and then this is my angel wing alienite and it's kind of matches with that purple theme and a little bit of cream as well. So this is the bracelet design I created with the Love Song kit, and I am so glad that I picked up this kit. I think actually I even prefer it over the Nature's Myth kit. There's just something so soft and natural about it, and yeah, it's definitely a favorite of mine, and I think all of these beads look gorgeous together, especially with the gemstones added in. So this concludes my summer sale haul with Troll Beads Canada and I had a lot of fun in the sale and I crossed off a lot of items on my wish list. Leave me a comment below and let me know which is your favorite that I picked up. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.